Lands Acquisition Act, 1973, number 208 of 1973, assented to 19th of December, 1973. Be it enacted by the Queen, the Senate and the House of Representatives of Australia as follows. 3. The principal act as amended by this act may be cited as the Lands Acquisition Act 1955 to 1973. Commencement. Number 2. This act shall come into operation on the day on which it receives the Royal Assent. Re the Royal Assent for this act is from the Queen of Australia from the documents you've just got, we've just gone through. And also what they're doing here, they're talking about the Lands Acquisition Act of 1955 to 1973. That is, they, they have created a new Commonwealth of Australia, which this is all under, and it's a con job to be still talking about the Lands Acquisition Act of 1955. They've done this with all their acts, they refer back to our acts, but it's all under their definitions from from 1973 forward. Repeal of Section 4. Number 3. Section 4 of the Principal Act is repealed. 4. 1. Section 7 of the Principal Act is amended. A. By omitting from subsection 1 the words the Governor General and substituting the words the Minister and 2. The land acquired under this section may be an easement, right, power, privilege or other interest that did not previously exist as such in, over or in connection, connotation with land. Connection actually. Connection? Uh, where are we? The treasonous political parties can take your land for whatever idea they can dream up. Number 6. 1. Section 17 of the Principal Act is amended by omitting from paragraphs A and C the word yards and substituting the word metres. Power to occupy lands temporarily. Treasonous political parties have created their own land in metres for their abstract Australia and put their minister in charge of that land. This, uh, when the political parties joined this system in 1985 under the Austra uh, Australia Act Request Act of 1985, all politi political parties, states did it they took over that definition of land which took over all land within their Australia. So under our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act the land is acre, roods and purchases, purchase. Seize and Submerged Lands Act 1973 number 161 of 1973 be it therefore, therefore enacted by the Queen, the Senate and the House of Representatives of Australia as follows. Charts of limits of territorial sea. Number 9. 1. The Minister may cause to be prepared and issued such charts as he thinks fit showing any matter relating to the limits of the territorial sea. 2. In particular, the Minister may cause to be prepared and issued large scale charts showing the low water line along the coast and may cause to be shown on such a chart any other matter referred to in subsection 1. Number 3. The mere production of a copy of a paper purporting to be certified by the Minister to be a true copy of a chart prepared under this section is prima facie. Evidence of any matter shown on the chart relating to the limits of the territorial sea. The minister can make a chart to suit whatever he wants. Oxford Dictionary, purport, verb, appear to be or do, 
especially falsely. These two acts below cloned our acts under the treasonous political party system. 128 pages of changes. Both acts commenced 31st of December 1973. Statute Law Revision Act 1973 216 is where they cloned our laws. Statute Law Revision Act 1974. This act was backdated to the 31st of December 1973. Royal Styles and Titles Act 1953 quietly removed on the 31st of December, not on the enacting of the Royal Styles and Titles Act 1973. To enforce the treasonous political party treason, they created laws to suit. Family Court of Australia Act 1975, Act Number 53. Federal Court of Australia Act 1976, Number 156. Australian Federal Police Act 1979, Number 58 of 1979. An Act to establish the Australian Federal Police and for related purposes. Be it enacted by the Queen and the Senate and the House of Representatives of the Commonwealth of Australia as follows. Part 1. Preliminary. 1. This Act may be cited as the Australian Federal Police Act 1979. That's the short title. Repeal. Number 3. The Commonwealth Police Act 1957 is repealed. No Crown and Constitutional Authority. The Oxford Dictionary. Establish. Verb. 1. Set up on a firm or permanent basis. 2. Initiate or bring about. This, the Federal Police Act of 1979, has got no Crown or Constitutional Authority. This created all federal police as mercenaries. They have got no authority whatsoever under our Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act 1901 as proclaimed and gazetted. In fact, all they are is a, uh, a mob of thugs, to be polite. Political parties created their own private, sovereign, independent and federal nation. God not being our God. Our Sign Manual, Governor-General of Australia, Great Seal, Royal Great Seal, Great Seal of Australia, Government of Australia, Parliament of Australia, Queen of Australia, Our Royal Proclamation, Elizabeth R, Our Australian Parliament. Elizabeth R, R stands for the Latin Regina, meaning Queen. This creates Elizabeth R for the political parties. Elizabeth II, by the grace of God, Queen of Australia. Under the above, there is no common law of England. King James Bible, Magna Carta, Bill of Rights, habeas corpus, etc. All to the benefit of the political parties. Now registered in Washington, D.C., District of Columbia. Commonwealth of Australia. For foreign governments and political subdivisions thereof, Securities and Exchange Commission, Washington DC, 20549. Commonwealth of Australia, United States, Securities and Exchange Commission, Washington DC, 20549. CIK number is 00008051570. Company name is Commonwealth of Australia in all caps. File number is triple three dash one six double three zero seven. The business address is sixteen hundred and ten Massachusetts yeah. Avenue, New York. New York. The care, of. Uh, care of Australian Embassy, Washington D.C. 20036 Treason by political party stylised Republic seal for their Australia with the help from Victoria, Queensland and South Australia We've got the Kangaroo and the Emu 
Description of the Shield for Political Party Republic. On the left hand side you've got New South Wales which is the proper seal. In the centre at the top there you've got that's Victoria. They have changed. They had an imperial crown. They removed that. They created their own constitution under the Queen of Australia in 19... 75, they all sit in treason from that day forward. Queensland changed their imperial crown to a royal crown, or as the Chief Justice de Jersey called it, and St. Edward's crown. This is another form of treason. Uh, the lion down the bottom is Tasmania. Then you've got Western Australia, the black swan. Then you've got South Australia. That uh, emblem of their, um, I've forgotten what you call it, but it is done by the Queen of Australia. This, the badge is the authority of the seal above, but since they've changed it, in its original form, it was a public functionary seal for, the, for our Commonwealth of Australia to be used for subordinate legislation. But the political parties have changed it enough and now it is trademarked to in America for their Republic of Australia. Oh, High Court of Australia Act 1979, number 137. To create this private treasonous political party, High Court of Australia, they repealed sections 4 to 14 at part two, constitution and seat of our High Court from the Judiciary Amendment Act, number two, 1979, Act number 138. This political party, High Court of Australia, sits as a quorum, no crown and constitutional authority. Butterworth's Concise Australian Legal Dictionary, quorum, uh, in the presence of the blue writing below, if you can click onto it, it will take you to the bulletin of the political parties and you just go down and check on the uh, uh, court cases they've had and it stipulates that they sit as a quorum and that means no crown and constitutional authority. It's a private political party court. It's got no crown and constitutional authority. It's it's the seal above the court of kangaroo court is the same seal that we've just gone through. It is a treasonous seal, got no crown or constitutional authority. Therefore the High Court itself you you've all those pieces of shit sit in treason. Oh, Evidence Amendment Act 1979, number 139, Acts number 137, number 138, and number 139, all purportedly commenced together. All the above were enacted to the Queen of Australia, Great Seal of Australia, political party owned and controlled Governor General under political party definitions, which equals treason. The so-called judiciary within the treasonous political party courts are appointed by members of political parties having no separation of powers, no crown and constitutional authority. Where was the guardian of the constitution? constitutions? Extracts from the Quick and Garren's Annotations of the Commonwealth of Australia Constitution Act uh, number 288 the High Court of Australia. The High Court is the crown and apex, not only of the judicial system of the Commonwealth, but of the judicial systems of the states as well. It is in the first place a court of original jurisdiction in certain enumerated matters of specially federal concern, section 75, and this jurisdiction may be extended by federal legislation to cover certain other enumerated matters of specially federal concern, section 76. 
In the next place, it is a court of appeal from federal courts and courts exercising federal jurisdiction, section 73. And this appellate power is of course confined within the same limits as the original jurisdiction in respect of which it exists. That is to say, within the matters enumerated in sections 75 and 76, place, the high place, the High Court is a court of appeal from all decisions of the Supreme Courts of the States, utterly irrespective of the subject matter of the suit or the character of the parties. Guardian of the Constitution, the High Court, the High Court, like the Supreme Court of the United States, is the guardian of the Federal Constitution. That is to say, it has the duty of interpreting interpreting the Constitution in cases which come before it and of preventing its violation. But the High Court is also, unlike the Supreme Court of the United States, the guardian of the constitutions of the several states. It is as much concerned to prevent encroachments by the federal government upon the domain of the states as to prevent encroachments by the state. Uh, by the state governments upon the domain of the federal government. See notes on interpretation uh, section 330 infra. So 330, its interpretation. The interpreters of the Constitution in the exercise of the duty of interpretation and adjudication, not only the High Court, but every court of competent jurisdiction has the right to declare that a law of the Commonwealth or of a state is void by reason of transgressing in the Constitution. This is a duty cast upon the courts by the very nature of the ju judicial, judicial. judicial function. The Federal Parliament and the State Parliaments are not sovereign bodies. They are legislators with limited powers and any law which they attempt to pass in excess of those powers is no law at all. It is simply a nullity, entitled to no obedience. The truth in the system of this High Court, remember when on no, the um, 2nd of February 1960, a proclamation for the so-called Governor-General at that time, that treasonous um, Chief Justice of the High Court of Australia accepting a oath that was of fraud therefore he sold his soul so these High Courts are in the same position they've all sold their souls this here proves that what they should be but under political party courts they're not 